Zeit. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution. Brought to you by BlackRifleCoffee.com. No collusion, Jesse. <laughs> no collusion. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. No collusion. And no collusion. There was, oh, what does it rhyme with uh, no collusion? We spent two years on this fucking stupid shit. Yeah. I mean, two years on this fucking well, shit. We just didn't really have anything else to do. Not only that, but you dropped, because we're, 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 we're recording right up until... This drops, right? Yeah. So you you drop this on a Sunday afternoon at what, four, of course. four o'clock and that's it? Right before someone retires. But yes, no, I think all of it uh, is on purpose, right? Do you oh, think the this, Sunday thing? It, there's so many crazy thoughts on this, right? I, I mean, first and foremost, that there even was this narrative for two years that there was... Uh, a fake fucking rigged election that was set up with Trump and Russia. We'd said all along that there was this, th- there was nothing to this because let's be honest, it wouldn't have taken two fucking years to find this out. Right. You would have found out right away. Right. And today's society and, and technology, oh my God. if they had something, you would, I mean, you would have known in, in weeks, second, yeah. it would be like impeached. Da, da, da. But the fact that it took so long and, They've been drawing it out. They wanted it to go probably until the election, right? Yeah, but the, the but pro- then it was just like got to be too much, and they're like, okay, we need to, right? And the the, the the problem is this. By the way, we're live from LA. If you're wondering why I'm sitting on a couch with a couch cushion, um, we're going hard. We're going video this year. We're doing all of it. I don't care how I have to get there. That's how we're fucking doing it. Sure. But I go back to Van Jones from CNN. Ironically, remember okay. that guy uh, O'Keefe. Illegally taped him on the street. Not yeah, illegally. Yeah. He taped him on the street and he said, hey, what's your honest feeling about Russia? You guys are talking about Russia every single day on CNN. Mm. And he goes, man, it's a big fat nothing burger. And that, that phrase kind of stuck. Yeah. Like he created that phrase and now it's out there in the a big fat nothing burger. In the world. And I, I, to me, I go back to that because that was close to a year and a half ago. And they knew then, Mm -hmm. those motherfuckers knew then, but Mm -hmm. they were going to drag this out until the very end. Yep. The the problem is not only does this backfire massively, because it does look like a witch hunt for two years, but the the primaries are, like the, the debates are starting. The primaries are starting in June. We're less than two months away from that. How are you going to get past that question? Because you know that's going to be asked at the debates. Why did you spend all of this time and taxpayer money trying to find a collusion narrative when there wasn't one there? Right. And then, well, what do you say? Yeah. What did 20 people, because there's 20 people running. What did 20 people on a stage say to, to, to justify all of this millions and millions of dollars of taxpayers' monies, money to, to, to fight Nothing. I mean, at least with the state, like athletes and steroids, like, you know, a couple of them came out and were like, eh, I did steroids, I guess. Like Lance Armstrong. You know? Yeah. I was like, all right, I did steroids. And you, you got know. him. Yeah. Marion Jones. Uh, congratulations. And they went to jail. This you work for two years. All of this time, all of this money. And you ha- you've got nothing. I mean, nothing. And, and everybody was making a big deal. Oh, they arrested Manafort and those guys, whatever. For what? T- t- like a couple tax evasions here and there. Uh, oh, he cheated on his taxes or he made some illegal real estate move. Like, congratulations. You could arrest he everybody too in many America coats. on that shit. He yeah. bought too many coats. I mean. With company money. I, th- there's so many emotions. And this is, this is going on live. I, I'm just going to read through a couple of them here. Somebody. Somebody just wrote an article that said this Russiagate is this generation's weapon of mass destruction. Oh yeah, which uh, that's a great uh, that's a great uh, way to phrase it because mm-hmm. it, it, that's kind of what it is. Of like, hey man, there's this and it's so bad and this is so bad. 
okay, now we have nothing and we have to explain it. Um, what I love about today's current media is you wait two years, right, for this story to break. It finally breaks after two years. It's trending number one on Twitter for an hour, and then Gr- Gronk retires. And then, yeah. boom, that's it. Sorry. Well, that's sort of how I feel about it even now as we're talking. It's sort of like... And you know I don't care about anything anyways, but this right. was definitely a big nothing burger <sighs> as you so you, even you saying it walking through the house, it came out, no collusion. Everyone was kinda like, Yeah. Right? So strange because everyone it, in this house especially was like Well, my yeah, friends, yeah, yeah. We knew. But it, the, the, I guess the news cycle was so dominated by this every single channel for two years. Two years worth of there, he definitely fucking did this, and oh my god, the beginning of the end. You know how many times I read this is the beginning of the end? Just that phrase before every news article regarding Trump and Russia this is the beginning of the end for Trump. Now it's the beginning of the end. Wait, I guarantee you somebody's gonna cut that footage together and release that. Now you spent two years on this, you haven't really spent any time on any of these candidates. You're kind of fucked at this point. I mean, you were you were kind of going all in on this Russia story. And if it didn't pan out, then what? Yeah. Then what do you do? And so the aftermath of this is going to be the most interesting thing to me of how you spin this. Because to me, and there's already people bitching online, you know, uh, Maxine Waters had a full on meltdown. It's just like, this is not over. It's it, There's a conspiracy or whatever. There's going to be a lot of that. But I think for the most part, like I said, the most part people are going to be like, yeah. Oh, that thing was still going on. Uh, but I mean, not only was and there, because I'm going to go through here. It says, uh, not only was there no collusion, Mueller didn't even find any obstruction. No obstruction. So it wasn't even like, like Trump was trying to stop people yeah, from, yeah. oh, hey, stop. No, there was none of that either. So what, what the fuck do we really have at the end of this? Mm-hmm. And this guy, Mueller, he'll never talk. I would imagine, you know, there's probably some book deal in the works. Right? For Mueller. You think? Is he like He's an that? old man. What is he going to do? He doesn't seem that you spend, way. You spend two years on this case? I mean, look, all of them do it eventually. Leon yeah, Panetta, yeah. all those guys. Like, yeah. You know, in a case this big... Um, if he sold, if he went in and just pitched this, Hey, you're going to do Robert Mueller's life story and talk about this case. Probably get 10 million for it. Yeah. I guess you can't really turn that down. So I, I I think that's the only thing he can do. What he can't do is, is go out and do talk shows and shit. Right. Everybody's already said, Hey, don't go good. Don't go to the press. Don't try to sell your side of the story or what happened or whatever, you know, remain as professional as possible. And he seems, he seems like that. I mean, yeah. I, I don't even know what this guy sounds like. Do you? Mueller? No. Yeah, I, I don't think I've ever, I, ever heard him talk. Mm-mm. So I, I guess You just see his like scary face everywhere. Yeah. That's it. The stone like cold face looming, everywhere. Like, I'm going to get you. Yeah. Later. And then Gronk retires. And then Gronk retires and boom. We're over Story it. is over. Mm-hmm. I mean, knocked out. Like, that's it. Knocked out. And it's funny to, to, to see people kind of scrambling now who had believed in this story for so long and they were so immersed this in it. This was their thing. Like, yeah, this was now it's going gone. to get him out. And now they have to go back to just being like, we don't really like him as a person. Which is fine, I guess. It is fine, but it's not enough. <laughs> what do you do if you're CNN? This was exactly. your lead every day for two years, I mean, all you just, like, day long. Crawl into a hole. I guess, I mean, you know, because now you're going to be forced to cover uh, the Democratic primary, which is going to be a fucking all-out bloodbath, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to make the party look bad. Right. Um, this, this Trump-Russia thing didn't make the party look bad. This was to make Trump look bad. Now, where do you go from here? That's what I'm going to be really, really fucking curious about. And then whatever conspiracy you, you may or may not think uh, is going to happen on that. But uh, fuck, man. Two years of this stupid shit for nothing. And to me, again, because if nothing happens to gas prices of the economy, I think he gets reelected easy. And this just made it easier for him. Yeah. Because now it looked like oh, not only is the media against you every this. single day, but the fucking 
goddamn government is against you. Mm-hmm. So much so that they, hi- they hired a special counsel to investigate. You colluded with Russia because of a, yeah. a, what, a fake dossier? Like, man. I mean, this is some high-grade fuckery, Jabes. I haven't seen shit like this in my, in my life. Can you remember a case that somebody worked on for two years at the federal level that just got, eh, nothing, sorry. No. We investigated, and that was it. No. Watergate, you know, at the end of that, fucking Nixon got impeached, and it was over. Oh, yeah, and I Monica think Lewinsky. that wasn't even for that long. Yeah. I mean, they invest when they have something. That's the thing. Uh, when they have something, they go, they go for it. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And it's not two years. It's it's pretty quick. Right. It's crazy. I mean, just absolutely. They just crazy. really, really, really wanted to find something, which is why it um, lasted for so long. Well, congratulations. You didn't. Right. I, I felt like it was us. I really wanted to find something, but just couldn't. <laughs> in what the, in the movie, movie yeah. you didn't like it no i went opening night in la we chatted about it last week on the show i was amped you know uh it's different now in la i will i will say that what how so Le- weed's legal right so people were vaping just in the theater in inside our what a time on sunset. To be what a time alive. to be alive yeah but i was thinking i mean we were in a radar circle. movie so it's fine but you know, what if you're a kid? I guess, look, weed's legal, so what the, f- I, guess, I guess what the fuck, right? I mean, it's sort of like drinking, right? Like, they can catch you and kick you out, but do they? Yeah, but but it's vape. Like if you brought your own drink You're just vaping in. it, so it's just like, all right, cool. It's, you know, you, you smell occasionally like, oh, is that blueberry? Right. Somebody bringing muffins? Yeah. Somebody bringing blueberry muffins in here? Right, right. Because I felt like they brought in some muffins. They should have here. movie theater vape that's just popcorn smell. Boom. That would be... Ah, did you just look directly in the camera for that? You heard it here. If you're watching the video show, Jabe's just office herself. Um, just <laughs> popped, right, popped right in the camera. Just looked directly in the camera and thanked popcorn yourself vape. for that. Specifically for the movie theater. Yeah. I'm a big fan of that. It's just smart. It's, it's just smart business. That's all it is. Uh, look, we are live from LA. We've got a huge show. All of this shit is just dropping. Literally, at once. just happening right now. It's like Steve O from Stilts just dropping shit on the ground. In that episode of Jackass, where you're like, he's just it's splattering. Oh. <laughs> Would you call it? This is splattering. This is we're really splattering. We the are show. really splattering all over the ground. I'm super amped, but we've got some sponsors. Favor this whole shit wagon and be on the air. First and foremost, BlackRifleCoffee.com. BRCC, do. you're drinking it. I will do. Got to. Look at you. Got to. Long days. A lot of guests. Long days. Yeah. We're, we've are we been out here. Fuck. I don't we, We've done 30-something shows at this point. Dude, it's insane. I mean, pure insanity. Pure insanity at this point. But it's been a blast. Oh, yeah. Um, but the BRCC has been kept us going the whole time. K cups, bags, you name it. We've been gunning it, gassing it, and everybody's got their own thing when they when they come over to the house because we'll rent you know some huge Airbnb and everybody's like, oh man, I want to make it with the what's the the giant spoon thing with the the handle on it. The giant spoon thing with the handle. Yeah, on what it. is that? You jam- you you did it this morning. You put it right in the coffee maker. Looks like a ice cream scooper. Oh you, yeah, you well, attached. like the espresso yeah, drip. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So you're doing drips mm-hmm. uh, with the bean. Your dad does beans. He does beans grinded to ground to order, which <sighs> is, I think, what the the boys do. So yeah, they yeah, probably yeah. do so a Matt pour over. Do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they grind the beans to order. So yeah. right before they're making their coffee. It's, I mean, that is fresh yeah. ground. So e- either way, look, you can go to BlackRifleCoffee.com, use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off, and get on the beans, 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 beans. 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 Grab life by the beans. Uh, next up, we've got GhostBed.com forward slash drinking bros. Goddamn right. We're sharing the website with them. Uh, we're, just, we're just blowing up. They didn't want to make a new one. We didn't, we didn't want them to. Congratulations. We combine them together. We share a sponsor in love. <laughs> now you can make a baby on the bed tonight. Make a baby on a mattress tonight, Jabes. Uh, or don't. Or don't. 
You know, pull out on that mattress. Either right, way, right. you should fuck it's on yours. One. Yeah, don't fuck on the floor. You'll get carpet burns. Right. Use a mattress. Be a real human being in this world. Sure. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Best deals on the planet. Military. First responder. 15% off. That's all the time. Bottom of the page. Click it. Lick it. And stick, stick it. it. Uh, if, you're, if you're just a rag human like myself... Uh, they got deals, $100 off the Classic Mattress, $200 off the Ghost Lux, uh, and then I got a bundle package for seven ninety nine, which gives you that Craftmatic Adjustable base, base, um, which is delightful. Big fan of that. USB ports, uh, flashlights built into that bitch. They're, it's like the Jetsons for mattresses. And also, look, I, we know it's a big ticket purchase item, but uh, 36 months, interest fee, free, pay as you go. Boom, you're good to go. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros and get them deals today. That gives you deals. plenty of time yeah. to pay it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 36 months. No interest. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. They're amazing, dude. They're, they're amazing. Uh, next up is strikeforceenergy.com. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Shabloinkers. Whew. Between that and the BRCC, man, that is all we've been killing. Killing it. Doing it. Yep. Vodka. The Stratkas have been running high. Four amazing flavors. A ridge. Orange. Come on. There you know it's lemon. And then uh make America grape again. I go, well, I went right in the camera for that. Oh, I was like, who are you looking at? Yeah. Yourself. Because you know Trump went to the, the, the Twitter and just said, Keep America great right after this. Ah. Uh. Is he's living his best life Had right now? To, yeah, I don't know what he's doing in the White House, but I'm sure I, he doesn't drink. But I'm sure he's drinking Strike Force like a motherfucker in there, oh, just yeah. punching walls. I bet you he knocked out uh, like the the a picture of the Clintons. Just put his fist right through uh, the fucking, just I would. right through the picture. Pulled it off and yep. just like kicked his foot through the picture. So great. Uh, Strike Force Energy will will serve all your energy needs in this world. Uh, just grip it, rip it. And stick, stick it. it. Stick it right in your drink. Boom. Put it in one of these little guys. You're good to go. Any liquid available. They have got a subscription of the month as well. No carbs, no sugars. If you're on a diet, best in the biz. Kick the can, kids. You don't need it anymore. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. 20% off. Good every time, and they ship everywhere in the entire world. Last but not least, this is what you came here for. StraightRazors.com. Ooh, that's a clean cut. Smooth. You're right, man. Somebody on uh, YouTube was just like Jesse went too long in that last one. They said the pauses were getting insane. Yeah, oh, I and love you're it. right about that. I love it. I also love straightrazors.com. Um, I, I didn't shave the last couple of days here. Just getting a little... Doesn't look. I mean, it looks great, smooth. That's what happens, man, with those fucking razors. They're so good. It, it, it takes about a day and a half off of off of regular shaving, you know. So you're not just like, all right, sweet. I'm a fucking full beard, you know? I'm a Hugh Jackman. Right. Here's my full beard. Um, I got amazing shaving products for dudes. Talking about uh, beard oils, mustache waxes, conditioners, shampoos. Their straight razors are second to none. And if you're worried about using a safe uh, straight razor, you can use a safety razor. I take the safety razors with me. I told you I got popped on a plane. Yeah. Go to straightrazors.com. Use the promo code REVOLUTION for 20% off. It's a big savings, great Father's Day gift. Go to straightrazors.com and support the show. Their aftershave smolder, by the way, is the greatest thing that, that any, any company has ever created in their entire life. Straightrazors.com, promo code REVOLUTION, 20% off. Uh, I want to hop into the big boy news here. This is, it, this is almost like the greatest show for me of all time. Right. Are we it's going? Everybody that I've hated is now just getting hit in the face with endless dicks over and over and over again. Um, it's, so great. Uh, so the other, the other huge, huge story was uh, Barbara Streisand. Oh yes. Oh my God. So when talking about the kids that Michael Jackson molested, um, her exact words were, "It didn't kill them." She's not wrong. They're alive. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it didn't. It didn't. But it fucked them up for the rest of their lives. Oh my God, I cannot believe her. I mean, is that real? Is that fucking real? Just... And then she said uh, 
that because here here was the whole statement. I, I'm going to read this word for word. This is it was so shocking to me. I thought it was fake. I was like, this has to be fucking fake. I went to her. I went to this interview. I went to her her Twitter. I went everywhere to confirm this. Fact I was checked like, it. Yeah, I didn't want to get this one wrong. Sure. Um. So she said regarding that Michael Jackson mm. doc leaving Neverland that the accusers were thrilled to be there and that his sexual needs were his sexual needs. And it was, was suggesting that the parents were to blame. I do. Okay, go ahead. I'll I let agree you finish. with the parents. I'll let you finish. Taking part of the blame, right? Um, and, but that it didn't kill them so that they should get the fuck over it. She said, get the fuck over it. She didn't say that. Okay, but, but she said, but it didn't ki- kill them. It didn't them. kill them is basically saying, get the fuck over mm-hmm. it. Uh, mm-hmm. I, not only do I hate her more than life itself anyways, um, but to hear this stupid shit, like everything that you rail about on a day-to-day basis on Twitter about uh, Trump and the mistreatment of, of separating kids at the mm-hmm. border and all that shit, he was actually fucking kids and licking little kids' assholes. But they were, oh my God, didn't kill him. Didn't kill him. They were thrilled to be there. Mm-hmm. Thrilled to be there. They were brainwashed. What if somebody said that about the kids at the border that, that you're trying to protect. Yeah. That didn't kill them. Didn't kill them. They were thrilled to be in America. Right? Yeah, they, they were, were good, right? We're fine. just happy to be here. <laughs> you know, I do, there's one thing again that I do agree with her, which is the, the parents, uh, they really did not get into how much they were to blame. Um, and the boys didn't talk about it, and I really don't think it was touched on enough. That's probably a poor choice of words. Wasn't licked on enough? Nope. Try again. It was not nippled enough. No, not even close. Anyway, so I do agree with her on that. Now, here's the other thing. What happens to Barbra Streisand? What do you take away from Barbra Streisand? Nothing. I I was already done with her anyway. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can't, like, take sponsorship away. You can't, like, I guess people could stop listening to her old records or going to her concerts. But, like... You know, I know she's at a level I mean, that she can kind of say things like that, right? No, and, she's not. Because to me, this is like this is like a Kramer situation where you only remember people for one thing, whatever that one thing mm-hmm. was, like that that one comment. You know, like th- that's all I can remember. Um, you know, she said you can say molested, but those children, as you heard. Say that they were thrilled to be there. They both married. They both have children. So it didn't kill them. Oh my his God. sexual needs were his sexual needs coming from whatever childhood he has or whatever DNA he has. Whatever DNA he has. Ugh, what do you fucking God do? damn it. She's 76 years old, right? Yeah. There's another level. I think at this there. point though, man, I, look, it's 76. I, look, and I hope at this point we love doing the show. We've been doing it for 300 and, 40 episodes at this point and we're gonna probably do thousands more maybe i hope we'll see yeah we'll see if the fucking <laughs> fcc shuts us down sure at some point which we're fully expecting right um because of me probably yeah but probably because of you yeah yeah, um, yeah. uh and your racist undertones for straight racers.com mm-hmm. but um I don't want to be speaking in public at 76 years old. I don't want to have a Twitter account or any form of social media Shouldn't do, yeah. at 76 years mm-hmm. old. I mean, I want nothing to do with any social media platform at 76 years old. It would the, be... the hope is this. We're rich enough that we're not even dealing with any of this on a day-to-day basis and we're just laughing somewhere. Some weird fucking penthouse taking weird drugs and shit like that, right? At that age? Yeah, and the thing is you cannot beat it and there's these people jesse again another horrible eh, choice of eh, words. Eh, i'll beat it then oh, oh, i'll beat it um that's how it goes still did i get it that time mm. beat it no. oh, oh i'll oh, beat it eh, oh, eh, i'll beat it beat it beat it beat it beat super it super unfortunate across the you board you can't beat the age thing right where right. there's a there's people that think they can i go back to like the betty white right yeah. You thought she, I thought she would be the one, you know, that could be with it until the end. Yeah, but she checked herself out she of checked herself out, the public eye. And that's, and, and a absolutely. lot of people have. Sean Connery has done this. Uh, yes. Robert Duvall has done this. Um, because no matter how sharp you are, no matter how sharp you think you are, 
um, you're keeping keeping everything going. Yeah. Gene Hackman is another one. Yeah. Because everybody was asked, they were like, hey, like, why did Gene Hackman, re- Gene Hackman retired because he goes, I don't have it anymore. And he goes, I don't even want people to see me all fucked up like that. And I agree. Yeah. Every, we see it at all these award ceremonies where they're wheeling out. Uh, Kurt Douglas. Yes. Old and all Kurt. of this shit. And it's like, he's blinking. He and can't even close his mouth. No. And you just, nobody wants that. He doesn't Fuck want no. that. He doesn't want that, right? I guess. I mean, he's Look, getting dressed up going to this shit. I'd be George like, hey, Bush, I mean, they were stop really, saluting me. Yeah. They were they were really wheeling him out to things where you're just like, and all the kids are around him. Yay. The only, th- the only one that I thought was appropriate was Bob Dole. So Bob Dole. For that one instance. Exactly. Sure. But you've got to choose your moment and be like, all right. Like Absolutely. Bob Dole was a hard motherfucker. And when he got out there, like... It's not like... It made me like Bob Dole, which, yeah. you know, I was just like, all right, great. It's I got a like lot of respect throwing, for Bob Dole. Throwing the pitch. Yeah, but at he, a, he, at I haven't seen game, him in you know? years before that. Right. So I think that's... I guess me personally, that's where I hope I'm at in my life at 76 years old. I do not want to be on fucking social media all day like she is. And you... Look, I've railed on this, on this podcast for a fucking year, how... Just because I got a, a goddamn blue check mark next to my name, I'm stuck with these shitty celebrities in my feed all day. Mm. I, I can't possibly block all these people, and it's the same opinions. One of them was Barbara Streisand that I finally had to to fucking block, and I was just like, right. Jesus Christ. So to hear this news was just music to my sweet, sweet dong. Right. I it just, really I was, Javes. I know. Um and, you know, to the point where she was like, oh, I'm not going to apologize. The backlash was swift. What? I mean, again, what did they what did they take swift. away? Swift. They just talk shit. I can't uh, take anything away from her. Uh, no, people. So uh, they went immediately to her Twitter page because, again, she's very, very active on Twitter. When I'm talking about very active, I'm talking all fucking day long. She's on Twitter. Her and like Deborah Messing and like Alyssa Milano, they're on ch- or Chrissy Teigen. They're on Twitter all fucking day long. Um People started asking her directly, you didn't really say this. There's no fucking way you really said this. And she said yes. Yeah. So she's standing by it. Uh, Yeah. And then she fucking said, uh, she released a statement maybe 15 minutes ago. I'm just going to read it. It says, I'm profoundly sorry for the comments on, on the Michael Jackson accusers. I feel deep remorse. And I hope James and Wade know that I truly respect and admire them for speaking their truth. Come on, man. You didn't re- you didn't respect it two days ago, Babs. That what happened her. in that forty eight hours her. in your house? Yeah, the, the the Zoloft kicked in. Like no, someone else wrote it for her. Uh, obviously, obviously. But I, pried so, the phone out of her fucking seventy six year old hand. Exactly. And we're like, I'm writing this fucking apology, and she's like, "Fuck you." So the statement goes on and continues. And so the story these two young men shared were painful to hear, and I feel nothing but sympathy for them. The single most important role of being a parent is protect their children it's clear that the parents of the two young men were also victimized and seduced by fame and fantasy yes she's got kids like what the fuck you dude so i think pretty much she's she's canceled at this point i hate that word but i don't i really don't know what else to say nuked right deleted yeah whatever it is get her the fuck out of here i've i've been over barbara streisand since you know, my grandmother was playing those records like when I was a child. Yeah, I, I've been I've been done with Barbara Streisand for a long time, let alone social media Barbara Streisand. Right. So this was again music to my sweet, sweet dong that she's absolutely gone. The other one though was Diana Ross. She popped up too immediately over the weekend. and was just like, no, stop in the name of love. Michael was a great human being, and his family was amazing. Sorry, Diana Ross. They actually weren't. <laughs> Sorry, honey. No. We really can't be saying stuff like that. But again, Diana Ross is right around the same age. So this, again, why are you on social media? Why are you speaking to the world? At this point, I hope I am with you somewhere, either lost in a New York City penthouse or in a, uh, on a private island somewhere uh, near our children you know, very Blue Lagoon style. You're nude all the time. Like sure. That type of thing. Sure. At that age. Well, let's cover it up. But yeah. uh, not, cover up not checking any form of social media except for, for, for the news. I don't want to comment on shit. Yeah, no. I mean, I look, I'd love to delete my Twitter. 
you know, we got to promote shit and everything else. But truthfully, other than media contacts, hitting people up to be on the show or, or vice versa, because a lot of people get a hold of me and say, hey, I want to be on the show. Right. Um, or, you know, the occasional like retweet of something else or I'm going to be at this event. Like, I, I don't give a fuck about Twitter. So in just stop speaking. We're all done with you. Diana Ross, good on her too, you know? Yeah, no, she can be done. Um, I mean, you know, you know how I feel about it. Yeah. I, I might as well be 76. I mean, I'm done, <laughs> right, with it? Yeah. I'm like, I can be done, right? You're like, no, you still have to. Still got to to get on there for a while. No, you got to show gotta ways people to uh, go. the pictures of your sushi. You got another 40 years, Shapes. Uh, Still got to have an audience for dinner. Exactly. Exactly. Um, which brings me to, to, to us. Speaking of an audience and dinner. Uh, you didn't want to go because you don't like you don't like horror films. No. You would have been scared. So I, I think you it's think? probably best. Yeah. How fucking gay is that to say like. I just, I'm alone a lot at the house. You're not that alone. You're here in California with me. I'm alone a lot at the house when you're gone (laughs) with the kids. Don't. Don't put that out. I have two kids. I'm basically a single mother. You know that. Everyone knows that. That is a lie. What are you talking about? Everyone knows. That is a lie, James. Home alone. I give you the address. No. (laughs) So, um, that that started recently. It's like with the um, being sick on the plane. This all started late in life, being scared of these horror movies and stuff. It's weird. It's weird. So, I, look, you wanted to sit this one out. It was fine. I went with Dan. I went with my buddy. We had a, a nice... Boyfriend, yeah. Yeah, we had a nice Mediterranean dinner together. Sure. Um, not out of choice. It was because... Uh, but you forget you're back in LA and you're like, oh, if you don't make a reservation 20 days in advance, they're not going to just let you walk in and sit down and have a table. Yeah, no matter... <laughs> How much you're like, oh, I'll just kind of walk up. Yeah, it's such bullshit. And I'm like, oh, I forgot. The good thing is rolling down the third. There's so many restaurants in a row. You're like, all right, cool. And they all have to be good. That's another good thing about L.A. Correct. Is that they can't be on a certain street without being somewhat. There was one restaurant. I don't know what it was. And I don't remember the name of it. We asked the the hostess. We were like, hey, what what kind of food is this? She had like a Ukraine accent or something like that. There was Mm -hmm. not one. Single person in there, and I was like, "Whoop, not eating in here for sure." No, but I don't how care is what that? this is. I know, I don't know, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's a front for something. Maybe, yeah. but it was so. This is the only way you can stay in it's business. So huge, and it's so expensive. Like to to rent a place like that month to month, where I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. It's right. got to be Russian mafia, is, is my yeah, guess. I would but, say. But uh, we went to this Mediterranean place. It was great, actually, and I was a big, big fan of it. And then we went to see us. Uh, the weed thing in the theater was. Strange. New, yeah. Uh, liked it. Sure. But it was different. Right. And I was like, oh, all right, cool. You still had, like, the arc light was still the arc light. And to anybody at home who doesn't know what an arc light or hasn't been to an arc light theater, you have somebody that comes out and announces the movie. Ladies and gentlemen, the movie you're going to see tonight is Us. Runtime right. time of well, an hour and 56 minutes. And it's right. going to be this and this and this and this. Da, 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 da. These people are in it. If you could please turn off your phones. And then and Lady Gaga comes down from the, the Exactly. Thing but they tell you how many minutes worth of trailers and it's Totally. It's a nice thing where they're like, Hey, there's seven minutes of trailers, no commercials. Everybody can get beefed. Like that's why we're able to to keep our margins where they are. Right. Sure. Um and the movie comes on, soup's excited. And I, I wasn't excited when I heard an hour and fifty six minute runtime. I was like, Ooh You're like, boy. Yeah. For who, a horror movie, it's a little long good. for yeah. me, yeah. personally. Like, close to two hours for a horror movie is a lot. Mm-hmm. It's a lot to go through. Because mm-hmm. as a filmmaker, you think to yourself, all right, got to keep people in suspense for a really goddamn long time. Mm-hmm. Like, two hours is a long time. That's why you don't see a runtime of a comedy more than 90 minutes. It's because it's hard to keep an audience laughing for 90 minutes. Yeah, and not getting tired of the sh- shtick and yeah, the yeah, whole yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. So we see us, and it, look, it... it it you know set a record, brought in seventy million dollars. Sure. Oh, but I didn't like it. Yeah, I didn't like it. Um, and I and gosh, you really wanted to. Yes. So it wasn't that. I I, I hate really, to say really that. Really wanted to like it. I, I did. I really wanted to like it, and I love Jordan Peele, and I love Keanu. What Peele. was it that you didn't? It, uh, I I don't like. Man, I don't want to give it away. Um. Okay. Well, I didn't like the twist. Okay. So 
You know, usually there's a twist or a you turn. You think you know the twist from the trailer, so interesting. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I remember watching the trailer being like, oh, I think I know. Like, yeah. And it's, you know, I remember thinking halfway through, if this is the twist, I'm going to be pissed off about it. And it was. And it was. And it was just like, <laughs> fuck. Mm. So it was an hour 56. I remember turning to Dan. I was like, you know, if this was an hour and 20 minutes, eh, I might not have been so pissed off at that. Sure. But two hours. Yeah. I was yeah. pissed off about it. And I was like, shit, man, I wanted to love it. But again. Made seventy million opening weekend. I mean, that is unbelievable. The budget was twenty. I mean, I, it's insane. Good do you for him. go to see the next one? Yes, he does. I, I, I do. Okay. Because I, here's my thoughts on this, right? And I was trying to think about it and formulate it before we did did a show. My thoughts on it are this: You make your first movie, right? Get out. You've probably had this gestation, or you know, this little germ of a, of an idea. Oh, for, forever. For a long time. It's very flushed out. Yeah. It's very... You make it. It's great. Um, you have a... You know, he probably had many opinions about how things were supposed to be and was kind of yeah, like a... Yeah, and the studio's involved. About and it. There's and yeah, a yeah, lot yeah. of shit. And, you know, again, a friend of ours worked on it. And the only my only knock and get out, get out was I wish the ending was, was a little different. Mm. Um, it was still good and I enjoyed it and all that shit, right? And then this... There was so much hype behind Get Out. You're hoping us was like that, where you're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Give me yeah, the Shyamalan, yeah. brother. I'm ready yeah. for this twist. Yeah. You, better, you better turn me up. You better wind on me. And when it wasn't, I was just like, fuck this. I'm pissed. I just paid, you know, I'm in LA, paid $18 for a ticket, 30 by myself at the concession stand. Uh, went a hard 30 on myself. Dead what serious. did you get? Oh, uh, this part you'll love, Javes. Okay. They got cab. Cab. I got a little cab there. Oh, yeah. Good cab, though. Like, good wine. So, this like, is new to be able to drink in the correct, theater. Correct. At Arclight. Oh. It, it's been going on at other theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not just at saying Arclight. At Arclight. And you know yeah. the Cinerama. You have to, like, drink out front. Yep. The Cinerama Dome is one of our favorites. Yeah. And, uh, and you could get uh, a double in one. So you didn't have to get a tiny, you know, you go oh to those theaters, God. you have to get well, a tiny glass. Yeah. You can get a big ass fucking cup of wine. So did you spend it all on wine? I would have. I, I think it was, obviously. I think it was 12 or 14 bucks for the wine alone. So yes, I did. Half that was on wine. We got some popcorn and like, sure. we don't typically do all that shit, but you know, I did for this. And right. I was like, great, I'm all in. Right. Absolutely. Now the weed and all that shit was a bonus where it was just like, all right, great. Sure. People were smoking in the theater. Congratulations. This is rad. So you guys smoked weed too? I, I so people around me were J- Jesse. I don't. I'm not saying that I did. Okay. Know? Okay. Um, I don't want to be that person. Sure. Sure. Um, sure. 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 Uh, but yeah. So like, you we were fun. all in. You were ready. Ready. Locked yeah. and loaded. And you know, you're like me. When you're ready for shit, and then it just doesn't mm. happen, you're like, fuck. I'm the worst. Fuck. I just drop a me. I'm just. And like, we had taken an Uber there because we knew we were going to be drinking in the theater, yeah. and it was just like, so you can go ahead and throw in another ten. You know, fucking some Uber stole the other Uber, so I had to cancel that, and that was a wasted five. Like, oh god, just in that movie and dinner alone, which you know should have been me and you, it was right was now me and my my beef fry, and it was just like, <laughs> god damn it, man, <laughs> two hundo in. I felt like we Love went to it. Disneyland and all the rides were closed, like but like the the kid rides were open, where it was like, right, sorry, Space Mountain's closed today. You're already oh, at god. Disney World, and you're like, oh fuck, what am I gonna do now? Just walking around, like. Yeah. Hot, with that hat on, sweaty, uh, yeah, yeah. It's on the world after all. Yeah, it's a small uh, world was the only small thing open. World after all. all, yeah, that's what it felt like. And yeah, and that sucks. It sucks. I'm sorry, but I will I'm say sorry. this. I, I think because there was elements of it that were great. Mm-hmm. It was close. I would, I would a hundred percent go see his next movie opening night again, and and uh, and give him another try. It wasn't like. The worst. No. It just was not. But again, I go back to like M. Night Shyamalan where it was like, dude, six cents tore my dick off. Where like, I really didn't see that coming. Right. And I didn't see that coming. And I was like, oh my God, this is amazing. And, and then The Village. No, no, no. Uh, there was one after it. It was like Mr. Glass or it, whatever yeah, it was. Yeah, it was the comic book one or whatever. And it was decent enough. Like I, I was able to get through that and be like, all right, cool. And then you're right. The village is where I wanted to kill myself and him and everybody else. Yeah, and you're just like, oh, fuck you, right? Yeah. Oh, man. So, I, you know, 
it, whoever's out there, I'm sure all the listeners went and saw it. Look, $70 million. Obviously, the listeners saw it. But, uh, man. Kind of hearing all the same stuff from friends anyways. But a lot of people don't want to, like, go against it. Yeah. They're like, what'd you think? <laughs> it's because, like... He's the only guy, because I was trying to think about that too. Like, he's the only guy right now who's making shit like this that's kind of interesting movie wise. Mm-hmm. Now, now, TV wise, a bunch of people are doing this. Like, Dark Mirror is right. kicking the dick out of life. Like, you know. Black Mirror, yeah. Black Mirror. I got to get that wrong every, every single time. Um, it's crushing it every single thing, except for that movie, the user control movie, you know, uh, that I hated. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. But their episodes are amazing where it's like, you can watch shit like this on TV, I, movies. This was the dude. Now you're going to have to wait another two years for whatever his next movie is um, yeah. to find out. But uh, yeah, yeah, kind of kind of disappointing, you know. I'm sorry about your little date that didn't work out. It got ruined. It got ruined. And then, oh. you know, Rob Gronkowski retired. I, I called this, by the way. Grun- that he was going to retire? Yeah. I, I just, you know, on the sports show, on Drinking Bros. Sports Show, I said, he looked so broken down and slow that i was just like man how if you're like that and that's slow moving and it's hard to run at 30 he's a young dude too yeah man. how old is he like 30 31 oh boy to retire now is just but like, what that's what i always said is like yikes. he just seems to always be hurt he's just not smart enough no to not hurt himself do you know what i'm saying he's just this big like dumb dude great, walking right? around yeah. but he's not smart enough to like fall in the right way or do things you know what i mean yeah, or yeah, not yeah. do things you know take a rest yep yeah ice something up he's just like Grr! tide pod yeah tide pod kid and it's uh you know he's gone now and he was great. He just was injured so so often. I don't know what to say about him. He knocked Trump out of the headlines. Um, you know, the other thing, too, I mean, again, there's so much going on. Like, fuck, we're in the midst of March Madness as well. That Even that's been disappointing. No mm-hmm. buzzer beaters, no nothing. It's kind of been chalk. Um, all of my Final Four teams, because we're down to the Sweet 16 now at this point, are still in it. So I'm just like, all right, cool. We haven't even I like this is this is one of the first times because you and I you typically do March Madness in Vegas. Right. But a couple of listeners hit us up and say, Hey man, we'll go out with you, we'll have drinks in Vegas, whatever. We we had to do a big series of LA shows, so we're out here, you know, interviewing all these celebrities and all that stuff. But like, you know, we've had the games on throughout the days and like yeah. they've not been close. Each of these games, this Duke UFC game that just ended was uh was a one point game, but uh the rest of it has been you know, 20, 20 points a piece, 20, Would 25 points a piece. Would we have uh, lost money in Vegas? No. Okay. Um, I, I actually, Everything's I think we kind of panning out. Pretty well, yeah. Okay. Everything's panning out the way I thought it would. There, there's, there hasn't been that one big Cinderella team where you're like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Like, what was it last year? Uh, fuck, last year was... Uh, that nun? The yeah, the nun. Yeah, yeah. God, a Loyola Chica- Marymount. That's what it was. Chicago, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And that was sister, so fun. It was That's the sister. The sister, sister. Yeah. Twisted sister school of Chicago <laughs> Marymount with the, with the nun, the yeah. scary nun. Yeah. They don't have any of that this year. It's strange. Strange. <laughs> that, but you know that I, I only love the drama. So I love that kind of shit. Yeah. If it's just like normal, I'm like, mm. yeah, I need, I need some backstory. Uh, we're, I mean, we're going so close to, to when we actually release our show. Ohio State's on tonight, so like that's the only thing I'm looking forward to. You and I are going out for that. Yeah. But uh, how's your time been in L.A.? Are you rejuvenated? Are you back? Are you in it? I'm rejuvenated. I'm back. Uh, we've had some great guests on, huh? Yeah. How about that 18-year-old fitness <laughs> fitness model? <laughs> that was a fun one for me. So- when you asked her... How she stays in such good shape. Oh, this is I great. Said. So wait, let me, let me preface this for the audience. <laughs> you do sound for all of the shows. You're super talented, like crazy talented in real life. Much more talented than I deserve in this world. Oh, um, stop. You are. I, I don't do sound or video. Like, I, I, I don't even know how I, you can wrap your mind around that, right? But you talk but you get for stuck hours on these, at a time when I can't. You, you get stuck <laughs> on these fucking shows where it's like right. porn stars. Yep. Um, you know, we've had Oscar winners and shit like that. But sure. Like, then there was a fitness model. We're not going to say who, who it was. Not going to say her name. Yeah. Cute as pie. Yeah. Right? 
in great shape. You ask her. I almost <laughs> laughed out loud, which I can't do because I'm sitting right by you guys. You asked her, how do you stay in such great shape? And what I wanted to say is just stand up and say, she's fucking 18. What do you mean? How does she stay in such great shape? That's like me asking my four-year-old. Yeah. His diet, like diet tips. Yeah. How do you stay so, so small, buddy? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, I eat mac-, mac and cheese, not all the mac and cheese. And then I have lots of pasta and chicken. You know what I mean? <laughs> it was just so, it, you were, it doesn't matter what she fu- I looked it doesn't over, matter what she fucking does. And you were seething. Sustained. You were seething the entire time. I just time. thought, what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> I mean, what are we fucking doing here? Like, we're going to ask her how she stays in shape? Nothing. She does nothing. If she lifted weights one day for an hour, Oof. she'd be cut. Okay? Yeah. And that's the beauty of being 18. Nobody needs any workout tips from her. No. No, they don't. I, I, 18 year olds don't need any workout tips. Oh, I will say this. Like I, as soon as it came out of my mouth, I was just like, Oh fuck. Um, cause I was, I, look, we've had a lot of fitness people on the show, right? On, sure. On, on, on and Junior at a Bros. certain age, it's Some like, I want to know what the you do. Humans on the world, oh, in, totally. the, in the world. And I asked them and whatever. And that, you know, Usually it's like, oh, I eat six times a day or I fucking work out and I sleep all day, like that type of shit. Right. Or it's like you, I literally yeah, I have nothing. to work out. I do nothing. Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of crazy. I can kind of like eat whatever I want. Oh, it's nuts. But isn't it? shut the fuck up. <laughs> I was about to walk out, to be honest with you. Again, what are we doing here? Yeah. But other than that, it's been awesome. Every guest has been a dream for me uh doing sound and sitting there and you know being in LA my old hood yeah, yeah and yeah, these yeah, people yeah. that I could only dream of like when we first started podcasting or when I even first started listening to podcasting sure. thought in a million years that I would be able to do the sound for them being on our show so it has been a dream yeah cuz a, a lot of me. your favorite people have rolled through and we'll continue to for yes. the next week. Um, like Steve Howie's coming by. Totally. And Chubb, a bunch of those guys. And uh, it's different with ours. We have a different dynamic on our show where if you're not on it, people are people are angry about it. All those three people get yeah, yeah, super yeah. They're pissed, pissed about it. So it's just like, all right, cool. Drinking Bros it lends itself to a bunch of different well, yeah. style. We're, we're, we're very topical. We like to stay on top of the news. And and talk about everyday shit that's going on in people's lives. Yeah, because we go, we do so many shows that it's just like, all right, cool. Here, here's what the fuck is going on. Um, yeah, and talk about what's happening in our lives. But I find that with a lot of podcasts, where there's some that I want to hear all the guests that they have on, and then there's some that I don't really care who they have on. Sure, I, I just want to hear them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been a and that's the beauty of this format. Yeah. Um, is that, you know, we're able to go on right up until game time and just talk oh, about totally. the shit. Because, I mean, I don't know anybody else. It, it, it takes somebody, because a lot of people ask me this all the time. They hit me up about podcasts and say, hey, your show is huge. Drinking Bros is huge. I want to do a podcast and I want it to be successful. You've got to have somebody who can fucking sound edit. Uh, can With you. And it, I always edit, say it's and like. And then get these shows out ASAP. I mean. We'll be one of the first people that, that's talking about this this Trump collusion thing um, because of your ability to do this. Right. Usually this would sit somewhere and, and have to be edited and a week later. Or you'd have great. to call and make sure the other person's ready. You'd have to make sure the studio's ready. You'd have to get the produ- producer in there to right. do it. And anyone that asks me like about doing a podcast, I always tell them it's like starting a band and getting it to a place where you can make money. So there back in the day it was like, yeah, let's let's jam in our garage, but then everyone needs to be as serious about it. Correct. as as the other, right? right? Everyone needs to be on board, which is the hardest thing to do in something creative where you don't make money right away. Right. So, I mean, I've tried to tell a couple of people like, I promise this is the kind of money you can make. Yeah. But you guys have to be serious and consistent. So, but it's tough. 
it's tough. Um, you know, you're able to do it. It's the only way. In a really quick turnaround, and, it, and it's nice. Like, yeah, I can sit here and talk about the shit all day, but like, if you don't edit it, you don't edit it. But I, I would assume this again. This last this this because we're here for two weeks or three weeks or whatever the fuck yeah. it was. So it has had to have been a dream for you. Like, yeah. I mean, these are all your favorite people. Scalar Brothers, by the way. I was going to say, I don't know who if I can say who it is, but yeah, yeah, like, yeah, Scalar Brothers um, have an awesome, have had an awesome podcast. They started in radio and they've always, they've changed it. It's changed over yeah. the years, but well, they've been in podcasting from the because beginning. Because they're changing it on purpose. So like Dumb People Town. Right. It's a new idea that they came up with and they're like, great. Totally. It's, it's in the charts And then they now, let the already. other ones, yeah, yes, kind of uh, fall. Yes, uh, Country and then now it's uh, in the cheap seats. Like, yeah. So they have show, two. It's a great sports show. Mm-hmm. I told them on the show too. Like, because I, I try to stay honest with people and keep shit real the fuck real. Like really fucking real. Real the fuck real? Yeah. Like even me hosting a sports show, I'm like, yo man, your, I, your sports show is number one to me. Like it is without a doubt my favorite. Right. And they were like, holy shit, like genuinely taken back. And mm-hmm. I was like, no, man, if you can't go on somebody else's show and tell them they're great, you're just a fucking asshole. Yeah, fuck point. you. Yeah. Um, like I think for what we do, it's probably us, your mom's house and like Stern and fucking Robin. And that's about it. Right. Like that's top three to me. Uh, as far as what we do, I don't know anybody else who's who's this great at that. And I'm fucking fine with telling them that you know i'd love to go on your mom's house and hang out with them i mean absolutely figure out you know what their format is and why and how and all that other shit um and i'm amped about it so like having those guys out here having you know the the brendan Schaub's out there we got invited to ben shapiro's right uh podcast um so we're going to see a live taping of his on on thursday and it's just like all right rad um you know in in hopes because usually that's the other thing i'm finding out too is some of these people want to meet you first before yeah. they're like, hey, before they drop their life story. And like the Shapiro thing is one of them where it's just like, all right, great. We're going to go and spend the day there, mm-hmm. have barbecue and hang out and do right, the whole right. shit. And you're right. like, all right, awesome. I understand why now. Um, because some of these things, you you get on these shows, you tell personal stories about yourself. You also don't know if these people are going to attack you immediately. There's that. And you just don't know what, f- you know, format. And, and it is such a back and forth right. medium where it's not written or whatever, that you need to be able to, you know, you meet those people sometimes. And even from from high, you can tell that you just don't have any kind of rapport. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Where you're just like, oh, and it just goes right down. So I think there's a lot of that. Like, you know, I may be doing a, a test show with someone, but I was I didn't want to just go right into that. Sure. You need to know if what your back and forth is like um in because of the form because the format because yeah. of the medium like yeah. it's just you have to be able to talk to the person that you're even if it's an interview oh right a hundred percent so i, so I kind of get that a little bit it's just I, I i i'm i'm starting to learn more and more that like you know some of these people would rather sit down with you and chat, you know, meet you first before like, Hey, just hop on in and do this and fucking a. So yeah. Yeah. yeah I get it. I get it. Uh, that'll bring us to the revolutionary figure of the day. Jabes. Shall we? We shall. We worked for two years on this case. We should give it, we should give it to Robert Mueller. This oh, dumb God. fuck. 500 witnesses. Good job. 500 That's witnesses. Revolutionary. Okay. 2,800 subpoenas. Hmm. 675 days of speculation. Mm. Nothing happened. Nothing. Nothing fucking happened. Congratulations. You're the revolutionary figure of the day. I don't know anyone who spent this much time on on a fucking case and found nothing but a bunch of stupid shit of friends who didn't pay taxes or, you know, fuck. And like Roger Stone, old ass Roger Stone. Bursting into his house and putting right? that motherfucker like, if Leave I'm that Trump crazy after this, motherfucker alone, yeah. Because here's the other part that again, since this is all happening right now on the show and live, like right in front of us, if I'm Trump, do you just go in and and say, here's a pardon for all these people? Because you can, as president, you can pardon whoever you want. Do you go in and say this is such a fucking witch hunt? Congratulations, I'm pardoning all my fucking people and my friends because this was stupid as shit. Yeah, maybe. Because you, you know what, what uh, lawsuits are like and all that shit. You know what this entire world is like, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's costly. It's time-consuming. And, and it's the fucking time. 
It's the time and of it's all, all revenge. Of this shit. It's all revenge. It's not for anything. That's all it is. And, and so with all of this, like the ultimate revenge and to say, fuck you for sucking up my time and my friend's time would be for Trump just to go on and say, you know what? You're all pardoned. Get get out of jail. Would Roger he? Stone, get he out of jail. Would, yeah. Manafort, get out of jail. I don't know what he would do with Michael Cohen because he was fucking cunt oh, that guy. But um, fuck him, dude. Yeah, exactly. He would say fuck you. But for Roger Stone and Manafort, go yeah. in and pardon him. Who cares? I don't think anybody say shit because right now, it, look, it's the perfect time to do it. Going into these primaries and shit, they're going to be burying each other anyway. Oh my god, he pardoned these people, and they're going to be like, fuck you. Fuck You've you. got a debate tomorrow night on CNN. Good luck with that. It's 20 people on one stage. Go Have get fun. ready. Yeah. I did it in 2015. Soup's easy. Totes easy. Enjoy it. Um, but reading all of these people's uh, statements and all that shit. Release the whole report. I need, I need to see I it. Need I need to see it. it. Uh, uh, no, you don't. Like, uh, you, you got the gist of it and it's over. Um, I want to shout out Dr. Dre, by the way. Uh, still Dre Day. Ah, uh, his daughter got accepted to, to, to USC. Mm. He posted a picture and said, hey, she did it all on her own. No jail time. Pretty fucking hilarious. No, ja- she did no it. jail time. He didn't have to bribe anybody to get in. And I'm not going to jail because of it. Uh, she got in on her own and I'm proud of her for getting into That's USC. That's good. We didn't even we didn't really, really funny. talk about them. But yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we we talked about Aunt the Becky people. a little bit. That's okay, the, uh, that's the only free Aunt Becky. I mean, look, that's the only reason we work this hard to swing bribe our kids into college. Right, because they turn out to be fucking idiots. Right, we have no idea. One's five, the other one's six months. We have no idea if they're going to be smart enough to do any of that stuff. Like, and they probably won't. The way things are going, maybe I, mean, I don't know. They're not gifted or anything, but not yet. We don't know. None of them came out playing. You know, Mozart's. No, 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 no. Uh, you know, Beethoven's unfinished eighth or anything like that. So I, I don't no think idea. I don't think the five year old even yet can do O H I O. Yeah, I say O H. You say yeah, you yeah. Say and I-O. so yeah, probably not. Right, right. But that is the only reason we're working this hard and Absolutely. we're putting out this many shows. Not a week. for us, so we can bribe bribe the kids into college. That's it. That's all we're fucking trying to do. Um, free Aunt Becky, free Felicity Huffman, all that shit. Uh, I'd be curious as to hear other celebrities' thoughts on this. We're gonna. Dive into oh, that and on drinking bros. They're bummed. I I wonder. Oh, I don't I don't think they're telling their real thoughts. But yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Check ask him. Yeah. Ask him. That's the thing, man, with celebrities mm. nowadays. Like you can't really say what you want. You can't anymore. even on a podcast. No. The only people that can are the podcasters themselves. Yeah. Yeah, that 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 get after it. But I mean, Aunt Becky, come on, bro. It was it was a million dollars for her bail. What do I always say, though? What's that? The only thing, the thing that pisses us all off the most is hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, Hypocrisy, yeah. So it's like, had she not been so virtuous and do the right thing, Christian lady, then we wouldn't be as pissed, right? I don't know. Do you know what I mean? Do the right thing. She has all these, I mean, you could, they went back into all these tweets of just, Doing the right thing sure. is better than you know what I mean. I think I have no problem with it, other than the hypocrisy of it. We've established ourselves as dirtbags from day one. Absolutely, you and I. So it's that's like, what I'm saying. All right, cool. Like if, that's what I'm if saying. I got popped to this, I'd literally just put out a fucking tweet or a Facebook, and message you would and say, be able to do so. Yeah. But Aunt Becky, can't. I would literally just say, "Fuck off, dude." Yeah, I did this, and it was rad. But that would be on brand. It would be. That's what I'm saying. So she went off brand with this, and that's what people get pissed about. But we've set ourselves up for that, Jay. I'm saying we're fine. Aunt Becky is not fine. No, she's not fine at all. A million dollar bail? Fuck We that. never, we, we don't, you know, we don't tweet out, do the right thing all the time. We don't. Do the moral thing. Do the morally right thing. No. So and you've hated Michael was, Jackson forever, so you're fine. I'm fine on that. Yeah. Uh, and then bribing kids into school, 100%. Um, I'm ho- look, I'm hoping my next book becomes number one, and then I don't have to deal with that shit. Maybe I can trade in like a speech, you know, like uh, right. I, I talk to the graduates. The other, yeah. Like where the podcast is big enough where we both do and we get some honorary doctorate degree. Because right. I want that. I want to be called Dr. Patterson and never sure. have gone to one single medical class in my entire life. Sure, like, sure. Like nothing. 
Yeah. I've never cut cut open a cadaver or anything like that. Like, I want to be called doctor on a regular basis and then demand to do it. Because you know that's what Bill Cosby did. Oh, yeah. He made everybody call him Dr. Bill Cosby. And it was just like, fuck you, bro. He made him do a lot of other things, too, that they didn't want to do. Well, but now, yeah. listen. Yeah. The other thing about Aunt Becky that makes it the problem is her daughter that she got in is such a little dumb, dumb idiot oh, asshole. She's so hot, though. Great. Yeah. So just be hot. a little dumb, dumb hottie. Yeah. She's a, I think she has 1.5 million Instagram followers, right? Which is probably already monetized. So she's fine already. Just be dumb and hot in the world. You know what I'm saying? Right. Why do you need to go to Yale? I, no, she was going to USC. USC. And the other thing I don't, I don't get about that is, is why are you going to school in Compton? Yeah. Why are you bribing your kids to, to get into school that in Compton, the other for Christ's thing. sakes? Like, Yale and Harvard and all that shit, I understand. Right. Cool. Congratulations. USC? Fuck that. Fuck that. Like, USC, I, I, I don't understand that at all. Right, no. The Yale and Harvard thing. All the Ivy League schools, great. Congratulations. Sure. Stanford, sure. Uh, you know, you're living your truth and you're finding your own journey. You're, well, whatever, whatever the opposite is of living your truth. But uh, Ivy League schools, totally get it. Mm. USC, get fucked. Right. Why? Why? I think it's a great film school. Spielberg went there. You don't need film school anymore. You know what? Your, your film is on your cam- It's on your camera now. It's on your 4K Apple. Yeah, it's on your followers. You have more. Yeah, whatever. That's it. That's all it is. Uh, Anyways, Chaves, this was a blast. You're looking great. Oh, thanks. Hotter than ever. Thanks. I don't don't know what that little sweater is, but God damn it, do I love it. Oh, thanks. It's a a nice little happy day sweater is what it is. A little what? Nice little happy day sweater is what it is. Jared's in the background. Fuck you. Yeah, you know that goddamn guy's ready to eat. Let's uh, go. For Jesse Wiseman, a.k.a. The Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is The Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night. Revolution!